the marker. Got it. Got it. All right. Uh, what we're going to do here is we have two radicals that we need to multiply together. So uh, there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, first way is you could just multiply um, multiply everything that's inside this radical times this. Since they are products and since they're both individual terms, we can just multiply them and then take the root of that. Uh, a lot of times, though, this is going to give us a large number that we really don't want to deal with. Um, you know, if I was dealing with something, let's say, 2 times... Uh, let's say, what should I want to do? 2 times, uh, I must do 9. 2 times square root of 9, well then I can multiply this and this should make sense. I multiply it, 2 times 9 is going to give me the square root of 18. Then I can reduce this down, and I'll do it two different ways. First way, I'll do the factoring way. 2, 9, 3, times 3. So you factor it, 2 times 9 multiplied to give you 18. And <clears throat> so you factor this, you can't factor two anymore, and you can factor nine to three and a three. Since we're taking the square root, I'm gonna group groups of two of them. So therefore I'll have, um, I'll have uh, three, it comes out, times the square root of two. Since that's left over, I can't take the root that out. However, so that's what would happen if you had, you know, you can just multiply this. So you could multiply 18 times 14. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but I don't really want to try to term, determine that and then try to factor that out. That seems like too much work for me. So another way that we can do this, and another way to factor, uh, or I'm sorry, to simplify your radical, is I'm going to look at simplifying both of these first and then multiplying them. So one, another way you can simplify radical 18 is I can say, what is a square number? Remember, square numbers are 4, 9, 16, 25. What square number evenly divides into 18? Um, and I figure out that 9 evenly goes into there two times. So I'm going to rewrite 18 as a product of a square number times another number. So I can rewrite 18 as square root of 9 times 2 times square root of 14. Well, the reason why this is helpful is because the products are, you know, the rules of radicals allows me to split up my two radicals. So since I'm, taking, since I'm doing multiplication, I can actually split up taking the root of both of these. Therefore, now I obtain 3 times square root of 2 times square root of 14. Now, I haven't done anything with square root of 14 because I intrinsically already know that you can't reduce the square root of 14. Um, there is no number. You know, if you're in a factor in this, 2, 7, those are both prime numbers, um, as is 14 is a prime number as well, or not a prime number. Uh, but 2 and 7 are both prime numbers, so therefore, you know, there's nothing else you can factor that for. So now I have 3 times radical 2 times radical 14. Well, I can multiply these two since they're both, since I'm taking the radical of both of them. So I have 3 times the square root of 2 times 14 is 28. And then again, last check, I go and see is there anything, is there any square number that divides evenly into those? And you can say yes, I can actually take the uh, 4 divides evenly into there. So I can say 4 times. Um, 4 times 7. And I can split, split that up into 3 times radical 4 times radical 7. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to move this all up here. So square root of, so it's 3 times the square root of 4, which is 2, times radical 7. 3 times 2 is 6, radical 7. And that would be your final answer as simplifying the square root of 18 times the square root of 14.